this on today's call, we're going to set up our Facebook business manager. Okay. So to the very, very left, click on see more down. Oh, see more at Facebook. Okay. <laughs> and then ads manager. So right. Below, ads, okay. Got it. Okay, cool. So this is going to take us to the back end of Facebook. This is where all the magic happens. Facebook ads, Instagram mm -hmm. ads, it all happens here. Now, here's what we're about to do though. What every agent does is they'll boost a post. You can X that part out. They'll boost okay. a post or they'll just simply run an ad through this account, which is the ads manager. So those are, there's three ways to run an ad. Those are two. So one way I go to my business page, I put something on my business page. I see the blue button and I boost it. That's what mm -hmm. most agents try to do. So most agents try to try to run an ad that way. Never run an ad that way. Second way people try to do it is come here. This is, everyone has an ads manager. This is an ads manager. So by default, without you even knowing you mm -hmm. had an ads manager, this is your ads manager. Right. The second way people try to run an ad. Never run the ad just through the ads manager. What we want to do is 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 go to the third step, which is set up the business manager. So the okay. business manager is going to look like this, but the business manager is going to just open up all the other features that are needed to track the data. So as okay. people see your video, you want to be able to track the data. If it's a one minute video, let's track those who watched it for 15 seconds, put them in a bucket and mm -hmm. show them another ad. Okay. So if, so if I see your ad and I click and I go to your website, the people who land on the website can be in a bucket that we show another ad to. Okay. So so all of that happens in the business manager. And to do that, you got to, it has, there has to be a setup. You can set so, it up. That makes sense. Yeah, set yeah. It up. So, so all we're going to do is click on the three lines in the top left and we're going to go to yeah. business settings. So those three lines in the top left. Oh, that's right here. Um, I don't know your other Top. Yeah. right there. So click on those three lines and go to business, <laughs> go to business settings. Oh, God. So right oh my there. God. Okay. Business, business settings. So right there, the very, there very yep. or right yep. there. Yeah. Business settings. <laughs> and then over here, you may have it set up, but yeah, see, so you do have it set up. You do have it set up, but none of it is complete. That's what this yeah, is. Yeah, of I, course. Nine out, <laughs> nine out of 10 times. Where it may, be, it may be set up and you don't even know how you set it up, but it's never complete. And so that's yeah. what we're going to do here is we're going we're gonna to complete it. So in the top left, that that um, green, yeah, click on that drop down. So these are your two accounts. So you have your account at the bottom, which again, that's whenever you boost a post, it goes, the ad is ran through there. Whenever you run an ad only through the ads manager and you don't set up none of this business account stuff, then the ad is ran through your account. It's ran there. So again, those two ways, boosted post, ad manager, it's ran from the bottom account. We don't ever want to run an ad that way. We want to run it through the business account, right? Okay. So it's the top one. So what we're going to do is we're going to optimize, we're going to set up, we're going to fill in the blanks of the top account, your business account. And okay. And run ads out of so for Instagram and for Facebook. 2D, 3D, that is... Yeah, we'll change all that. We're going to change all that. Okay. So we're going <laughs> to... That's, that's an old... That's, that's from... Yeah, but that's from my IG account, I think. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll change all okay. that. Okay, so, got it. All so right. It starts with um. So get away from there. So click away. Um, okay. So now we're gonna click on pages. So let's start with pages to the left. So all we're gonna do is work our way down on the left. Okay. So okay. From top to bottom, we're gonna go from top to bottom. Okay. So, Perfect. So right here, this is the page that that's connected. So so that's good. So your page is there. Your name is at the bottom. Um, we're good. So this becomes bookmark number one. So hit the star in the top right. Um, and bookmark it. So this is ads. I mean, excuse me, this is business settings. So click the I think it's to the, I think it's to the left. I think, the, I think it's the start of the left. Click on that one. This guy here. Yeah. yeah. Click on that one. And then this is business settings. Take away the number four business settings, and then put it in the other folder. Um, no, 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 no. The folder, the folder, click the folder, drop down. So it's in the business manager folder. Yep. Okay. So there, there's bookmark number one. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to, Again, move down on the left-hand side. So yep. ad account is next. Yep. Click on ad account. This ad account is what your credit card's tied to for your advertising. Okay. Okay, so let's set up a new a new ad account. So click on the blue one, and then we're going to go create a new ad account. Mm -hmm. And then here's what we're going to do now from this point on. There's a few different things that we're going to name. This is one of them. So just like the Tutti Fruity at the top, that's a mm -hmm. name, which we're going to change. 
Okay. And yeah, please. Account name. We're gonna go with one name for all. So let's just yes. let's go with um let's go with the name we're using for 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 all your platforms. Two in homes, right? Yeah. Go with that. Okay. So two in homes. That's the ad account name. Um, time zone. You can click on that. There's a million different time zones. Sometimes it takes forever to find yours. Eastern. I mean, why is it so? Yeah, I know. It's there's so many. Like it's. Let's see if it might be. Hold on. America. So I'll just get out of this one. Yeah, it's not even the most important. It's, okay. It's, all so this just... is do, all this time zone is based on is is what time your ad goes out or what time it's it it ends. So okay. We do it all. So just hit next, and then over here it'll ask for my business. Um, yeah, we're doing my business, mm -hmm. and again we're going to change that name. So don't worry about the two. Okay. So create, Perfect. and um, over here this is where the card information. Um, should go so okay so right here click on the circle to the top left so there's two and yep. then give yourself full control manage ad account so shade that gray to, to blue the bottom one manage ad account yep and then assign okay and then add payment info okay so that's the ad okay. account. so here's what we're going to mm -hmm. do now is we're going to um, bookmark this page so this is this is bookmark number two so hit the star on the right this is Same ad thing. account this okay. is ad account ad account yeah in that folder and then done Okay, so now moving forward, like I'm like, I I, I don't ever want to freaking, you know, sound cocky or anything like that, or, or even <laughs> try to toot my own horn or anything like that. But I know a ton about this platform, right? I'm, I'm in it every damn day. I've been in it for years. And, and right. I using the word mastered, I don't want to say I mastered this at all. Like I'm definitely mm -hmm. not perfect. Definitely not perfect. Yep. But I know, I know pretty much a lot of it. And so from this point on, you're going to always be able to rely on me for any of this stuff, ads, yep any of this stuff. Right. But every now and then I get stuck on something every now and then Facebook will throw some type of funk. And I'm like, dude, what happened? Like, I don't like know what the heck. Or something. Yeah. And not, not even a change. Like I keep up with all the changes, but as far as like the account getting restricted or oh, I see happen with your credit card or something crazy, like where it's like, I don't know the answer. We're going to have to reach mm -hmm. out to whenever you reach out to Facebook. The first thing they want to know is what is your ad account ID number? And that's it at the top. Okay, oh. so one two one five two one. That's oh, that ID. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's kind of the first question: is what is the ad account ID number? Gotcha. And and that's an important number. So, okay. Bookmark number two: ad accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's really the only thing you need to know is is the number, and then the fact that, and and then also what credit card is tied to it, which okay. I'll show you where to put the card. So, yeah. so this is your ad account. So now moving down on the left, we want to click mm -hmm. on Instagram accounts. Make sure that your IG is connected there. Um. And so here, go ahead and log in to your IG. Log in. Yeah, log in, net. Yeah, log in. And then um, it'll take you through. Okay, so now, um, go ahead and add asset. See if you can add, see if you can click on add asset to the right. Add mm -hmm. assets. Let's see if, yeah, so go ahead and click on, that's the ad account. So we're tying the ad account to the Instagram account. So whenever we run an Instagram ad, we're giving permission here to charge that. Oh, account. this, okay. So one right here is from this page here that yeah, we set yeah, up, account, right? Yes. We just named and it two, two, two in homes. We just named got it. it. So right now I just hit add. Add, yes. Okay. So any, any ad. So zero people ad accounts have been added to the Instagram account. So there, there was an unexpected. Yes, maybe because the, the ad account's not fully set up. That's like okay. No card. So yes, I'll have so to do that then. Add yes, assets, so add right? Add assets once you activate the ad account. Okay. Create okay. once you put the card on file. Okay. Um, and then that's it there. So now data sources to the left. Data sources. Mm -hmm. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click on pixels. So pixel mm -hmm. is the little piece of code that Facebook gives you to put on a website. So any website, any web page, we call them landing pages. Um any page whatsoever that you create from this point point on, put your pixel on it. And even your Howard Hanna, if I were you, I'd reach out to him and say, hey, because there is, watch, send me your link, send me your Howard Hanna link in, in the chat here. And let me okay. on my end real quick. Okay, so when it comes to real estate websites, they're so damn fancy. There's so much shit going on. All of this, all of this information yes. you would think is good, but it's not, like it's not. And, and so- websites like this are strictly for information only mm -hmm. it's not to capture a lead it's not to it's not to it's not to capture a lead it's not to capture a lead at all right um, 
And so this is what I see over and over and over is where an agent will promote a listing. They'll promote an open house. They'll promote their real estate in any way. And then they're linking, they're linking everyone to here. So the link will be yes. in the yeah. post, right? Click here for, for more information. And so you, you might be run, you might be posting a, a specific listing and this is the link you're sharing. And so when people get here, they're like, holy crap, all this stuff going on. Now I see other listings. And so mm-hmm. now there's, there's nothing but distraction and confusion, confusion before you know it, they're clicking on the advantage. They're clicking on find it first. They're clicking on all over the place. Mm-hmm. This is not a website that you'd run an ad to at all, Yeah. but to have your pixel on it, just to be able to track the visit and, and use that to show other, show people future ads. That's, that's why you'd want your pixel. And so, oh yeah. Okay. Here's what I see all the time as well, though. Look at what's going on. I have this little plugin right here at the top Mm -hmm. that that allows me to know if the website I'm on has a Facebook pixel right now. I don't have this plugin at, at the top just to analyze everybody's website. I don't care about anyone's pixeling me. I use it just to kind of test my pages. So whenever I mm-hmm. set up, a, whenever I create a page, like for example, all of these are my pages. Like if I create a page, I always want to make sure that my pixel is on the page. Mm-hmm. Social agent mastery. I have two pixels track in the page. Just so when people land here, I can, I can categorize them. So if they land here and they don't register for the class, I can show them another ad right? Because my Facebook pixel is tracking the data. So what I see every single time, this could be Coldwell, Realty One, EXP, Mm -hmm. Howard Hanna, whatever. They'll give you this fancy website. And what they tend to do is they put their pixel on the website and they're Mm. tracking all the activity. So here's great. And they have a shitload. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven, seven, seven different pixels tracking the visit. And so here's what's scandalous. Here's what's crazy. And, and this <laughs> not, not crazy. It's not, it's not crazy. Yeah. yeah. Probably not. Actually, I don't know. Like, I don't know because here's the crazy part. Let's say I was your broker. Let's mm-hmm. say I was your broker. I'm giving you this website. I'm putting my pixel on it. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's say, for example, you're running an ad on the listing. I'm the one getting all the data. Mm -hmm. If I really wanted to, I can turn around tomorrow, run an ad to everyone who landed here because I have the data and I can market that listing and I can completely cut you out and I can sell. Oh, I see. Okay. Not that that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but, 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 but they're. They have seven. Normally, people only have one pixel on a page. They have seven. Is what is this? Is this seven? Is that is this Howard Hanna? Is this this is your website from Howard? Oh, my, oh. yes. They're one, two, three, oh, four, what? five, six, seven. They have seven pixels tracking your data. So, wow. so I'm just saying, if you were the one that were advertising. If you were the one that was sending people that were sending people here, you can have your pixel. You could be you're you're going to be the ninth pixel, but the fact that there's eight other people, eight mm-hmm. other, n- not necessarily eight other people, but there's mm-hmm. eight other pixels right. gathering the data as well. I don't understand that part. You know, so so, so okay. If anything, you now have a pixel. So you'll now you'll now have a pixel. So go ahead and, yep. and share your screen. Let me stop share. Okay, so uh, share my screen now. Okay. Share your screen. So now you have right. a pixel. So if anything, email them. Maybe email your broker, whoever. Email them and say, hey, I noticed that there's pixels on my website. I also have a pixel. Would you mind adding mine to the page as well? Oh, so I have to get their permission to do that. Well, they're <laughs> the ones who created the website for you. Oh, um, okay. So I won't be able to do that at all. Yeah, probably not. And that's why I don't recommend these websites at all. Like it's cool. It's cool to share this website with your mom. Okay. Share this so, website with your girlfriend, but not 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 advertising at all. You need gotcha. a totally different web page. So what you're suggesting that if I can make my own website, is that what you're saying? It's not even a website. It's actually way, way yes and no. It's not even oh. a cool website. It's a web page. Web page. Okay. Web yeah, page. So, so 
all you really need is 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 a web page, not a website. A website mm -hmm. is all these different buttons. A yes. web page is just one page with one button. So that's like what that's what you were talking about the landing page or something, the right? Landing page, yeah. We'll get that. We'll get to yeah. that on our, on our next few calls. But okay. But that's what anybody needs is 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 landing pages, and they want. I, yep. I recommend getting your own, not Ty Tower Hannah, because you need to be able to own this type of stuff. Got it. You need to be able to control it. I need to be able to put my pixel on it. I need to be able to make sure okay. that the brokerage, I I still have my web page. Right. You know. I will. Um. I have a, I have a family friend who builds websites. And no, stuff. you don't need any of that stuff. You don't. I don't. Oh. No. Okay. no, I got all that. I got all that. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm just I'll, like. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But. Oh, okay. But, um, all right. Perfect. Yeah, that that sounds is, good to me. <laughs> this is not a website we we want to advertise to. Is all I'm saying. Okay. Um, got so, it. So so let's do this. So go back to the ads manager, or go back. Yeah, the the tab to the left of it. Um, so um. Am right. I going back to Facebook? Yeah, right there, right here, right here. Okay. So now we're going to set up your pixel. So go ahead and click on the blue, the blue button, add. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we're going to simply um, name it. We're going to rename it. So take away that name and everything is the same. So two and homes, that's the name of your pixel. And then just click. No it. typos. Okay. Yep. And you can always change it too, but, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just keep it. Yeah, keep it consistent. Yeah, so hit continue. And then, mm -hmm. so what, what I'm going to have you do is simply get a copy of the pixel. We can't fully, fully activate it yet because we don't have a website or a web page or a landing okay. page, but we can at least somewhat set it up. So go ahead and set up the pixel now and then manually add. So the middle one and then copy, just click and then scroll down. Yeah. Click and then oh, scroll down God. and then turn on. You're going to turn on number two, turn on. And then um, turn off and then turn it back on. All those need to be blue. So turn off, turn back on. Okay, oh, cool. Okay. Continue. Perfect. Continue. And then. Um, oh my God. What? How did you learn all this stuff? I, I've, yeah, I just, I spent a lot of time and a lot of money. So just oh. like you hiring coaches, I hired, I hired, yeah, expensive coaches to teach me all this shit. Oh God. So, okay. So, yeah. So, okay. So, so cancel, hit cancel. So, so now here's what we do. You have it copied. So what I what I want you to do is email it to yourself. So just email okay. it to yourself, and and this is your Facebook pixel. Yeah. So right here. So now add people. Okay. Add people. So you're gonna always add people. You're gonna always add yourself. So add people, and then um, go ahead and choose a circle there. Your name, and then full right. control. Yep. Full control. So manage con manage oh, people, and then assign. Okay. Them. Okay. So we're adding you to the pixel. We're also gonna have gonna add um. Assign, go to an assign. Okay. We're going to also click on add assets. Let's see if we need to tie um, any assets. And you'll always see the list of assets here. So yeah, there's the add account. So add, and that's it. So I might have to, oh. Yeah, so we're good. We're good. So um, so now, and we'll bookmark the pixel on, on another page, but that okay. is the basic setup. And then once it's on a page, once it's actually on a web page, then that red dot will turn green. Okay, so right now it's not active, but it, it will be once we activate it. So so now to the left, we'll keep going down on the left-hand side, brand safety. Brand safety. This mm -hmm. is where we integrate your domain. So we tell Facebook, this is the domain that we want to be running ads to. Okay. Mm, so, um, okay. So right now you have, we just we just did the forwarding, right? So if people click on your .com now, then they go to the Howard Hanna site. Mm -hmm. so what? What you can do is you can you can integrate it out. Let me just show you how to integrate it. So so go ahead and click on add. But what you're add here? Do, yeah, click on actually click on domains. No, click on domains oh, first. Domain. Okay. Domains. Add and then add, and then um create a new domain, and then just type it in there. Now, what you're gonna eventually there's really two options in the future. Yeah, just type it in there. What am I typing? Like my just twowinhomes.com. Oh, okay. The one you just purchased. So you okay. really you really have just two options really when it comes to it comes to this. So click on add. Um one option is to not forward it to your Howard Hanna and forward it to a landing page once we get one. That's one option. Okay. okay. Um, a second option is to just get a whole nother domain and then use that domain to integrate here and use that domain 
for your landing pages. So two win homes is the dot com is the domain. Which is forwarding to Howard Hanna, which is a website you're not going to be running ads to. Yeah. Okay. Right? So again, one option is to not forward it there and forward it to some landing pages. That's oh, okay. So but this goes back to landing page. Okay, got it. The second option is to just get a whole different domain. If you want to leave two win homes.com going to Howard Hanna, if you want to leave that and remain that and leave that, then go get a different domain and forward that to a landing page because that is where you're going to be running ads to is a landing page. Okay. Well, I want to keep two win homes.com, right? So I have to and add the, another one. The question is, do you want to keep it forwarding to your Howard Hanna? Right now, it's fine because we're not going to run an ad right now for a while. But okay, again, right now, it's forwarding to your Howard Hanna. Let's, yeah, let's just keep it forwarding to there. Yeah, that that that's fine. So now what you do is you go get a different domain so you can have that going to a landing page. Oh, so I have to get another. Okay. If you want to keep that one going to Howard Hanna, one domain to one page. So... If twowinhomes.com is going to Howard Hanna, that's fine. Oh, okay. Right? So twowinhomes.com is not where you're going to be running ads to because it's going to Howard Hanna. Oh, so, okay. Well, right? okay. Yes, it is right now. But so, I... Go ahead. So I would think that I would want the twowins.com to go to the landing page. That's the second option it, yes. it, it, is, to, is to have it going there. But, but, but here, here, here's just, here's what I would, here's what, here's just what I'm recommending. Twoinhomes.com goes to your Howard Hanna. Leave it as is. Now, what I would probably do is go back into GoDaddy and maybe go and get twoinhomes.info. Twoinhomes.info okay. now is the link that I'm advertising to, which is sending people to a landing page. Twowinhomes.info, twowinhomes.net, twowinhomes.anything else. Okay. So have the .com. You can also get the .net. You can also get the .info. You can also get the .org. You can get the .whatever. Oh my have goodness. Okay. So, so let's just let's just integrate this one just 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 so you you know. But then again, we we may we, we may get a different domain in the future. Okay. To run adds to yes okay so, that's, so that's here, yeah we're going to click the drop down add a meta tag to the right so hit that drop down and go to the third one down so txt click that come down to txt right here yes and then we're going to simply number two we're on instruction number two we're going to mm -hmm. click that bold facebook dash domain click mm -hmm. okay so now we're going to take it to godaddy so let's go to godaddy and all we're going to do is create a txt um um um, record. So scroll all the way to the very, very top. And then right here, we're going to click on add the black button, add. Mm -hmm. And to the left, we're going to simply go the type, the type, the drop down, go down to TXT or up to TXT. Mm -hmm. The name is the at sign and the value is that link. So at, oh shoot, where'd I go? What happened? Okay. Yeah. So the it's... at sign. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> at okay. And value is that link. So just paste in. That okay. Add record. That's it. Oh my god. This you is so it. confusing. By the way, it's all a one-time thing, so you won't really have to do it. Okay. So <laughs> hit the um. So so X out of GoDaddy, just so we don't have a million tabs open. So close it. So we don't need that anymore. Okay. Close that. Close that. Close the sign in. We don't. Okay. Need that. And then let's just go back to the ads manager. And sometimes it takes a few minutes. Um. And sometimes it happens right away, but click verify domain and you may have to click it a few times. Oh, okay. Domain. Click it again. Just keep clicking it. Click, 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 click. There we go. Perfect. Oh, okay. shit. Done. Okay. We're good. So now add assets. See if you always want to click on add assets just to see if there's anything to add. So here, classic pages. So um, yeah, classic page. And then we're going to tie that domain to this, to, to your business page. So we're going to let Facebook know that not only are we running ads to this domain, but this domain, the ads are coming from this this page. Okay. So okay. Add. So, okay. okay. Perfect. Done. And then now we're going to go down the left, keep going down the left-hand side, and we don't need to bookmark any of these other ones. Um, we're going to come down to business info. So business info is where we can now change the name 
um, at the top and we have to fill in all this information here. Oh, so this is where I edit. Oh my God. So click on that. And then here, it's not going to be all one word. I need you to space it out. Capital T, capital N, capital H. So yeah, just spell it out. Um, perfect. Yeah. And then okay. the primary page, go ahead and click there and type in your name. Like? There it is there, the drop down. Oh, so, this right here. That's it. So click save. And now all you're going to do is refresh this page. Like refresh here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, refresh it and your profile picture um, should update. There oh my cool. God. And then now we're- I don't know what we just did. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it, don't worry. Oh. It, this is all recorded oh. for you. And, and this is all a one-time thing. You won't have to come back here again, really. Um, unless you unless you change a phone number or change your email. Well, I have to, you know, I have to include my, you know, add my credit card information. and Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah I'll show right. you where that's at though. Okay. That's actually going to be a, a, a bookmark. That's going to be an actual bookmark. So oh, okay. Got it. Right here, business details, edit, fill out all of that real quick. You, you Everything except for tax ID. So you don't need tax ID. Just, um, oh my God. Country. Perfect. So now all the tops filled out. So this right here, the bottom, my info, that's the most important. This email needs to be verified. So edit that, put in your email. Um, and then so check to win homes or what, whatever, like whatever, whatever you're going to, your new email, maybe that'd be a good one. Um, but whatever, just again, on all these platforms, the most important is knowing which emails on file. That's the most important. You could, you could forget the password. The email is is what you gotta know. So I try to use the same for everything. Um, okay. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So save, and then now give it maybe a few seconds, and then check that email. Yep. Perfect. So we're good. So that right okay. there is, is one huge reason why accounts get reject or ads get rejected or accounts get shut down because the email was never verified or because the top info was never filled out. Okay. So, that's good. So we're now good. So now let's keep keep moving forward because we have a few more bookmarks. So yep, three yep. Lines top left and let's go to ads manager. So three lines, top left. It's going to be these three lines. So three lines, no top left. So we're going to be going those, the three lines a lot. So three lines yep. and then ads manager. Okay. So now we have a new ad account. So click on no at the top. This is your new ad account. As you can see right at the top, the drop down one, two, one, five, two, one. The, the drop oh, yep, there's yep. a new account. So if you click on that, you can always see your old account. So click on see more ad accounts. And then that's your old account. So if you click on that, you'll see those other three ads that you had before or whatever it is. Oh, called. did I have three ads? Or two ads or whatever it was. I don't remember. Yeah, see, so these three ads, your old ads, that's- Oh, in that was when I was working at- um. Yeah. I was working at a cafe, so, so shoot. Okay. Click the drop down again. So we're going to be running ads in the future from this new account. See more ad accounts. All right. Okay. So again, there we everything go. is two win homes, two win homes, two win homes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? So, yep. so now bookmark this page. So this is a bookmark. This is our third bookmark. This so is add this one. Ads manager. Yeah. Hit the star ads manager. Delete all that ads manager and then done. Now click three lines to the left and let's, um, yeah, yep. perfect. Three lines to the left and then audiences. So we'll click on audiences and this is um, another bookmark um, and go ahead and click on create a custom audience. And so this is what it's all about is your audiences, being able to track those who are engaging with previous ads. That's what this is all about. So, so, so now I'm just giving you some game on the, on, on, on the, some, some, some insight on the game, the mm -hmm. game of online advertising, the game of social media advertising, the game of, internet marketing, whatever the hell you want to call it. The game is to track those who engage. Yeah. That's why when you go to a website and you're looking at that red bag and you go to check out, but for whatever reason, you don't put your credit card and then you leave the website an hour later, you see an ad on a whole different site, or you may see an ad on Facebook for that red bag. Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn, how in the hell did they know I was on that website? Mm -hmm. They know because they had you in an audience. So this is what it's all about is the custom audiences. So in your business, whenever you, we do get landing pages, you'll create audiences around website. Um, these videos that you're now going to start putting out, that's where you're really going to be is, is mainly videos. Yeah. So let's create a custom audience around a video. So click on video. So now again, as you put out video. Where's video? Oh, video. Okay, got it. <laughs> as, 
hit next as you click on, as you put out video and and as you put out one minute video two minute video now you're going to be able to track those who watch a percentage of it so what i like to do is is go off of 15 seconds so the smaller 15 seconds for example the bigger the audience if you try to if you create an audience around those who watch 75 percent of your one minute video that's going to be that a would- smaller audience the small audience, right? Okay. Right? That's going to be a smaller audience. If you go 95%, that will be a smaller audience. A very smaller audience, right? Yeah. So so we want to go 15 seconds. 15 seconds. So that's the one, right? That one? Yeah, click that and then choose videos in the top right. Choose videos. And then um, go ahead and make sure you're in the right Facebook page to the top right. Hit that drop down. No, top right. Facebook page. Yeah. And oh. then go down to your page. There's your page. And then find any video, um, and these are all these are all organic videos, right? They're just random yes. posts you put out. So the fifty nine views, the thirty six views, the thirty two views, the three hundred three views, these are views from people all over the place, right? So to put them in an audience and show them a local ad is not really the most effective. Yeah. Right. So today we're doing this just for the example. So. In the future, as you put out the next video, that will be a video for an ad. As you put out that next video, because it's an ad, we're going to have 3,000 views on it, right? Because it's an mm. ad. That's a video that I would put in, an, that, that I would create an audience around. So if I put out a two-minute video, your, 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 your Tuesday video, right? As I run an ad on that video, and it's two minutes long, that would be an ad that I would, that would be a video that I create an audience around. Okay. Because those are 3,000 local views right so so i want to be able to categorize them i want to be able to put them in an audience and show them another ad okay right so so Mm -hmm. here again because we don't have the ad just yet we'll just do it around do it around any video do it around any video just for the example so check the box of of any of these um i'll just do the latest one so actually i posted a new video today but i forgot to post it to my business page yeah so but again even if you did and you got 40 views on it they're going to be people from all over the place. Okay. Well, I wouldn't really put them in an audience. Um, so, so this one we'll do again for the example, hit confirm, but this is how you create a custom audience around people who watched 15 seconds, at least 15 seconds or more. Of- okay. And then the retention, the 365, bring that down to 30 days. So Facebook will just track those who watched it in the past 30 days. Okay. And then audience name, just name it, whatever that video may have consisted of um red shirt against the wall like however you want to know oh this is um fizzbo no um what are we going to call this this is one like um in contract process how about that perfect and then and then in parentheses yeah dash yeah red red shirt or whatever yeah and then in parentheses 15 seconds so oh okay 15 seconds. Okay. And then create audience. Okay. This is what it's all about. So again, if I watch that two minute video and I watched at least 15 seconds or more, you now have me in this audience. And if I did it 21 days ago, you now have me in this audience. Show me another ad. Okay. Right. So so this is what it's all about. So bookmark this page, click done, and then hit the star on the top, right? Mm-hmm. And this is custom audiences, custom audiences, and then click done. And then we'll do the three lines to the left. Okay. And then let's go to billing. So billing is another important page. Um, this is where you can update your card. This is where you can add your card, um, hit payment settings in the top right. And then just simply bookmark payment settings. So payment settings, right? The top, right. Top, top right. It's payment settings. You're right. You're right there. Oh, like, oh because it was the, the menu was was covering oh, yeah, it. Drag, so. <laughs> you can drag that. Drag that out the way. You can click. Yeah, I did. So payment settings, top left, low to the left. Payment settings. Yep. Okay. So bookmark this page. Okay. So this is billing. Name this one billing, okay. and it's in the business manager folder. Yep. So here you can always add payment method. You can always know where your balance is at throughout the month. Okay. Down at the bottom, edit. Edit that part, hit the business info. Yeah, click this and let's go ahead and put in um, two in homes, the business name, and then just fill out all the information at the bottom as well. So business name, 
Okay, so all that wow. in there, that's billing. Okay, now now three lines to the left, and mm -hmm. we, have, um, we have two more bookmarks. So three lines yep. to the left, click on events manager right there, events manager. Mm -hmm. And then over here, this is where we're going to bookmark um, our pixel and our custom conversion, which um, which I'll explain. So okay. up top <laughs> right, hit that drop down and go to your profile one, profile picture one. Yeah, that, one, that top one. Okay. So now from here, we are going to... Um, we're going to go ahead and and to the very, very, scroll down to the very bottom, recommended task. Yeah, that's all. And okay. And then now um, go ahead and, and, and hover over the blue little circle to the left. Up, the blue circle. Up, up, up. Oh, up. here. Yeah. So click on data sources. Oh, wrong one. Data sources. And then right here, this is where you would, we're going to rebookmark it, but go ahead and bookmark it for now. Um, but this is your pixel. So bookmark it, pixel and then leave it in that folder. Yep. But once we actually put the pixel on something, then this page will open up and we'll probably have to rebookmark it, but yeah, that's fine for now. Okay, so the last bookmark, blue triangle to the left, right there, right there. Yeah, go back, custom conversions. Custom conversions, and this is another bookmark. So bookmark it from here, we'll rebookmark it once we actually activate um, the custom conversion. So custom conversion, custom conversion. Okay, and that that should be it. So let's look at our book at our folder. What do we have in our folder? We should have seven business settings, ad account, ad manager, custom audiences, billing, pixel, and yeah. version. Oh my Lord. Those are the only seven things that we really need to ever run a Facebook ad or Instagram ad. Okay. So, so moving <laughs> forward, we would be, we would be running ads out of the ad manager. The credit card on file is tied to the ad account. Mm -hmm. We're now capturing all the different audiences in the custom audiences, our billing. Okay. We'll know where our balance is at. The pixels will be put on a page. The custom conversion is what we also put on a page. Um, okay. Once we get once we get our pages. So those mm -hmm. are the top seven. That's how you set up a Facebook business manager in 2022. Any questions on that whatsoever? I mean, yeah, there are, but we don't have time for that. So <laughs> don't worry. I'm I'm so confused right now. Okay. I'm like <laughs> Don't worry. All that was a one-time thing. Now it's just, now it's just. Right. I know it's a one-time thing. So that's the yeah. thing. It's like, man, I don't know. So what, Cause I feel like it's well, going to have to go back, but. No, just be thankful you got me. I'm on, I'm on your side. I, I, I'm I'll so. Be, <laughs> I'll be a message away or a call away if you need anything, but, but moving forward, we're kind of just filling in these different books. Okay. We're just filling in the bookmarks. So, so our very next call, our third call is when we, is when we go in and run our first ad under the ads manager. You don't need any any image. You don't need to make a video. We do. We use a very generic image of a home. Um, okay. But that ad is our first ad where we just spend a few bucks. We don't need to spend much at all. 20 okay, bucks. I was gonna say how much? <laughs> yeah, twenty bucks, twenty five bucks, the most. Okay. Um, and that's our like ad. So we'll take your current likes wherever you're at, a hundred, two hundred, whatever like count you're at. But we'll spend a few bucks and take it to a thousand real quick. Okay. Um, and that's, that's a like ad. So now when people land on your page, they see all your links, they see a high like number, the credibility is there instantly. They see the videos, right? They see the videos, but but really they're based on the on the like number. On the likes too. Okay. Yeah, the likes. So they want to really know, like, yeah, we judge on a stupid number. So. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so crazy? Call. Yeah. That's like, yes. um, that's like, you know, uh, what's that? What's that? Uh, Black Mirror. Holy shit. Have you seen that show? Dude, the movie? No, no, the series where they have like different episodes of like crazy. Well, I'm not thinking of Black Phone. I'm thinking of Black Phone, which is a, I think it's called oh. Black Phone. It was a movie that just came out like two weeks ago, but it's a scary movie. Oh, called Black Phone? Ooh, what is that on? Yes, let me, Um, any questions on this real quick? No. Okay, good, we're good. 